Oh, don't do that. But... Oh god. Okay, there we go. Oh god. What is up and welcome back. Yes, welcome back to a very exciting episode of Magic Carp Corey. In today's exciting episode, we are going to clean our 90 gallon salt water tank because it's very dirty. I haven't done it in a while and I'm just going to show you guys all the fish I have. So I have a little setup I have to do because I moved my tank from up here to downstairs. So I'm going to have to go outside, move the hooves around and clean and take all the water out, throw into the sump pump. And once that is clean, guys, I'll show you the fish. I will probably show you the fish um, once it's like halfway drained just to see what the fish are doing because they kind of get like freaked out and I don't know, the puffer fish kind of comes up to me and acts like he needs help and things like that. So he's kind of funny, so I can show you that. But once everything is clear and clean, then I will show you guys the whole entire tank. All right, I'm in the process of cleaning my fish tank. As you can see, stored and striped puffer right there. Then we have, I think it's black maroon clownfish. Right there. There is the powder blue tang if he shows his face. And I did get the lionfish. I don't know where he went. He's somewhere in between those rocks right there. But once we clean this up, we'll be able to see more. There's the main man of the hour. Got dog face puffer. I know the water's pretty dirty, but once we clean this out, I'll show you guys. It looks a lot better. And there is the powder blue tang right there. He showed his face for a little bit, and he just left. All right, fish tank is basically halfway empty. Got to figure out how to put water in here. Um, just because I don't have any water supply down here. So I think I'm going to walk over here. What my idea was, I know my basement's a mess, is to come over here, put the hose up here, open up this window. My water's, there it is, hose right here. Take this hose and literally just put it in that bucket, turn the hose on and yeah, we've got some water. All right, once we get over here, turn this hose on, this knob, whatever you want to do and we should be good to go. All right, and we have water. All right, I'm super glad that I got a new pump from Amazon because the one I have in here, that green thing right there just broke. So this one from Amazon I use to clean my pond. And yeah, we're just gonna lift it up and I'll show you. Oh, whoa, don't do that. But... Oh God. Okay, there we go. Oh God. All right, so this is what I had to do. I had to take this hose Connect to the pump so the pump won't swirl around in the bucket. Now I know the next time we should get to go. This is all the salt water in here and just mixing up really quickly. I'll probably do this for about five, ten minutes, and we'll put the salt all water in there and then we should be good to go. Alrighty, so as you guys can see, the 90 gallon uh, saltwater fish tank is already cleaned. It's done, it looks beautiful. I did turn the lights off just because I wanna get some of that algae. And I think in the next episode, we might get a new fish for that tank. Um, also, I think I'm trying to get a 125 gallon tank for my room, and that's gonna hold all the Oscars and all the freshwater fish that I have in the pond if they survive. I honest, I'll be honest, I haven't really seen them in a while but hopefully they're in there. What we could do is do another video of cleaning that pond, taking all the water out and taking the fish out to see if they're in there. But I think they are, I think they are. It's been warm out. Um, I did put some algae stuff in the tank and yeah, um, everything should be good. So alrighty guys, thank you again for watching. I hope all of you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see all of you guys in the next time episode. Peace.